G'day, it's Armin the Parman. The point of this video is to show you how to speed up your delayed Bitcoin transaction using child pays for parent. And you can use Bitaru's calculator to set the correct fee. And I'll explain in this video how to use that calculator. So you've got a transaction uh, which is a withdrawal from the exchange to your own wallet. And you set a low fee for that and it's taking a while and you want to bump the fee and make the make the coins come faster. So what you do is take the unconfirmed transaction in your wallet and you can actually spend that. And the second transaction you do is spend it to your own address. So you're not giving it to anyone, it's just within your wallet. And the fee that you set should be quite high because to be included in the block um, the miner will need to include the first transaction which is the parent and this new transaction which is the child and so the miner will have to include both and take the fee for both those transactions so if the first transaction is a low fee you need to bump up the second fee to be quite high so it averages out and they're incentivized to include both transactions and it's not actually uh, averaging because the first transaction size needs to be taken into account and the second transaction size needs to be taken into account. And it's difficult to do that manually, so that's why we have a, a calculator that can help us. And I'll show that later. Starting right from the beginning, to withdraw coins to your wallet, you have to first go to your wallet and choose an address and copy it to the memory. Then you go to Bitaru's withdrawal page, paste in your address, set the fee and the amount and confirm the withdrawal. As soon as you do that, at the bottom of the page there'll be um, a transaction ID which you can click and it'll take you to mempool.space and it'll show you your transaction which is unconfirmed initially. But your wallet should almost immediately see these coins come. And uh, you can see it's um, 8.1 sats per byte that's been selected by the exchange and let's say we're waiting for quite a long time now and we want to bump it up before beginning the process of bumping up the fee it's a good idea to go to mempool.space and just see um, the current fee rate and I'll just go with the medium of 59 sats per byte I'm just going to explain how to do this using the Electrum wallet. Your wallet might be different and there'll be slight variations. But basically the first thing you have to do is go to the options and make sure that replace by fee is checked. Then go to your address list and find the coin that's taking too long to be confirmed. And tell your wallet to spend only from that address. So you right click the address and select spend from. Then you go to your address list and find an empty address and copy that to the memory. That's where you're going to be paying these new coins to. Paste that address into the pay to window. Click the max button to spend the entire amount of the uh, address that you selected earlier. And then click the pay button. After clicking the pay button, a small window popped up and I clicked advanced and I got to this transaction window. Then I set the fee to 59 sats per byte, sign and broadcast. And then the payment was sent. Every wallet will be different, but for Electrum you can see the transaction that was just made. You can right click it and this menu pops up and then you click view transaction. And then from there you can copy the transaction ID. Then go to the calculator. The web address is at the top. You paste the transaction ID in the first window and set the fee at the one that you wanted from the beginning. For me it was 59 sats per byte. And then you click calculate fee. The calculator then looks at the size of the parent transaction, the fees that were in the parent transaction and the size of the child transaction. It completely ignores that, that, that we've already paid 59 cents per byte because that's not relevant in the calculation. And it tells us that at the bottom child to pay 127 sats per byte. 
So that transaction we just made should have been 127 for the entire average to be 59. All we have to do now is go back to that transaction we just made. And for Electrum, we can find it as an unconfirmed transaction, right click it, and then increase the fee to whatever the calculator told us, which was 127 sats per byte. And then Electrum will rebroadcast that transaction with a higher fee. And the one that we did before at 59 sats per byte will be invalidated. Now the a miner will select the parent and the new transaction Electrum just makes, which has the higher fee, and both of those will be included. And hopefully your transaction will get to your wallet confirmed as quick as you like. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, you can reach me on Twitter. I'm at parman underscore the. Thanks.